Alright people, so this is the first video of buildwithpython.com and I just want to start off, uh, yeah I just want to start off with giving you a lot of value. So yeah, um, so I haven't done anything over here, I just created a new project, uh, it's called Melody and then I've created a new Python file. So what we are going to be doing within the next 30 days is creating a music player. So the idea is to have like daily, daily upload something on YouTube or maybe have different challenges for different days. It's kind of like a 30 day thing in which on different day you learn something different about a particular project. So for example, within the next 30 days, I'm going to be uploading content that's going to be building uh, using Python GI programming. I'm going to be building a media player, uh, a music media player, which is which you can use to build a play. Uh, music and it's maybe I'll um, it's like out in the out in the open right now like maybe after 15 days I'll change to a different project or something like that but the idea is to make a music player right now and kind of improve upon it daily so I'm going to be using a framework or a package called Kinter for this Python GUI programming um, 30 day challenge and um, yeah I'm calling my media music media player melody so that's why this project is named melody so without wasting any more time let's get started so the first thing we are going to do is import the kinter package and um, yeah let's import everything from the kinter and then i'm just going to create a window and i'm going to be trying to explain everything as a, as much as i can but obviously you need to have a very basic understanding about python i'm not going to get into that because there are a lot of videos about python everywhere I'm not going to get into that but yeah basically the first line means when you want to import a package or something uh, from python you basically write from and the beautiful thing about kinter is that you don't need to like pip install anything externally you can just write from kinter and it's already inside python how, how beautiful is that you don't need to import like install anything externally or pip install anything externally that's why i like using kinter and it's very good for like basic python gi uh, programs so anyways yeah from kinter import everything then i'm just going to create a variable called root and i'm going to write tk so what this does is that uh, you can imagine that this creates a window and stores it inside the root variable so this tk function is actually creating a window so right now you can see i'm working inside the pycharm so if you don't know this ide is called uh, pycharm i'm using pycharm you can use like uh, whatever you want, Atom, Sublime Text, even Notepad++, or even the Python terminal, whatever makes you comfortable. I'm just using PyCharm because I'm more comfortable with it. Anyways, uh, you can see this PyCharm has this basic window, right? This top which has a cross, maximum, minimize, stuff like that. And it has this, this menu bar on top. So this is basically called a window. So this TK function is actually creating a window, our very first window and then storing this window inside this root variable. This is going to make much more sense when I finally execute this program. But before executing this program, we have already created a window, but we need to do one more thing. And that is write root dot main loop. Now, if you imagine like when you, whenever you play a video, all right, uh, if you already don't know this, whenever you play a video, that video actually contains a lot of pictures. And all those pictures combine together very quickly to make a video. So every video has a lot of frames in it. Any video that you watch on YouTube has a lot of frames in it. And all those frames combine together to make a video. Similarly, whenever we create a window, this window is created for milli milliseconds very quickly and then it disappears. All right. So our naked eye isn't able to see that window. So what we are doing is that we are engaging that window in a loop, in an infinite kind of a loop. So what happens is that this window is created once and then it's created again and again and again by putting it in kind of an infinite loop. So our eye thinks this is actually a window all the time, but at every frame is getting refreshed. So that is the function of the second line. So first line is creating a window. And the second line is important because it's helping that window to persist on our computer. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Let's run this main.py file and see what's up. So as you can see right now, we have created this beautiful window. 
So this window is being created by that first line and then this window stays over here because of this second line that is root dot main loop. Now how do we change the title of this window and what do we do to change this icon of this window? Let's see in the next video. I think um, the, in, this introduction is more than good enough. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you on day two where we change the, the title and the icon of this window.